you are still wondering what to spend your hard-earned GTA dollars on, and don't want to waste it on something you'll later regret, I'm going to help you out. Look at it as if you were only able to get 8 vehicles, what would they be? I'm Beats Down, exceedingly vain and self-absorbed man, brilliant at everything he does, and these are the top 8 vehicles you must own in GTA Online. At number 8 is the Benefactor Krieger. The Krieger is arguably the best all round supercar in the game as it is very fast but also has great handling, which is what puts it ahead of the Progen Emrys as it can be a bit slippery. It is expensive though at close to $3 million but it will win you many races and is also one of the best vehicles for completing the weekly time trials which each pair $100,000. Number 7, the Hakuchu Drag. The Hakuchu Drag is pretty much the go to vehicle when it comes to completing the weekly time trials. It's the fastest bike in a straight line without a boost and by some margin. As it is a bike, it can be called in directly from the MC menu. It is hard to handle as its turning circle is rather large, but it more than makes up for it in the straights. It is also the go to option for bike stunt races. At just under 1 million, it's not cheap but worth every penny. Number 6, the Buckingham Akula. A rather underrated vehicle is the Akula, but it has many abilities that place it above other helicopters. Stealth mode will not only reduce your wanted level, but it's fantastic for sneaking up on other vehicles that may have more firepower than you, or for simply claiming a few bounties. It has an unlimited supply of missiles which can be spammed to your heart's content as well as the ability to drop bombs from its undercarriage. Get good with these and it's great fun for trolling people on foot as you can stay right above them so they can't hit you while you rain down hell. It's also pretty fast and very agile. And number 5, the Buzzard Attack Chopper. If it were not for our number one placement, the Buzzard would surely be the must have vehicle in the game. It drops to fifth simply because the other three vehicles will be used more. The main benefit of the Buzzard is that it's ideal for escaping the cops or other unwanted threats. It's also weaponized with unlimited missiles, but there is a cooldown in between each burst. It can also be accessed directly from your CEO office upon leaving, which is really handy when sourcing crates or vehicles for your warehouse. It's very agile with good speed and has the ability to dodge homing missiles if you're good with it. Number 4, the Hydra. The Hydra is better than the laser due to two main reasons. One has been its VTOL ability, meaning you can land it pretty much anywhere, but also its straight line speed once you know how to do the speed glitch. It can get from the bottom of the map to Palato Bay faster than any other vehicle in the game. I managed from the dockyards to the end of Palato Bay in 1 minute 50. It has powerful front cannons capable of taking out any other jets as well as any other enemies on the ground. And if you didn't already know, it can also be called in for the Bogdan Problem heist finale. Crisis, diplomacy and espionage can't solve it. And here they come. Bogdan's assets are converging on your position. Like crap, the events. Number 3, the Vigilante. Not many people are fans of the Vigilante, but those people probably aren't using it to its maximum potential. This vehicle is by far the best when it comes to OG heists and doomsday heists. It can lock onto enemies on foot, ground vehicles and air vehicles, usually taking them out with one hit with its highly accurate missiles. It 
it comes with 30 of these missiles, which is more than enough to complete any heist challenge. It is pretty difficult to handle, so take it slow around corners, but with one of the most powerful boosts in the game, it'll get you from A to B in no time. And number 2, the Benefactor Terabyte. The Terabyte is the main hub for pretty much every business and money making possibility in free mode. Not only can you source product for all of your businesses here, but you can also escape the cops, He's getting away. Can we just shoot him? You're launch drones, And do the super easy and quick client jobs. Which will net you thirty thousand dollars in just two minutes. As well as for storing your Mark II and quickly checking in to restock its missiles, you can even equip it with a weapons bench for customising your guns or to restock their special ammo. It is also equipped with missiles, which aren't the greatest, but can be handy if you want to keep some enemies at bay. And if you're a nosy kind of person, you can even check up on other players' stats. And the number one vehicle you must have, the Oppressor Mark II. Everyone without one hates them, everyone with one loves them. They get a bad rep as a griefing vehicle, and for good reason, as it is so ridiculously overpowered compared to other vehicles. It's by far the best vehicle to use for casino heist preps, most CEO jobs, it has very accurate missiles which can be spammed and the best defences in chaff to prevent enemies from locking onto you. It can be called in right next to you from the MC menu and can be taken pretty much anywhere on the map. So because of its formidable firepower, defences, manoeuvrability and cool and convenience, this is why it takes the number one spot for must-have vehicle in GTA Online. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.